Chapter Thirty Two of Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter Thirty Two, the last chapter, which is a letter from Pollyanna. Dear Aunt Polly and Uncle Tom, oh, I can, I can, I can walk. I did today all the way from my bed to the window. It was six steps. My, how good it is to be on legs again. All the doctors stood round and smiled, and all the nurses stood beside them and cried. A lady in the next ward, who walked last week first, peeked into the door, and another one who hopes she can walk next month was invited into the party, and she laid on my nurse's bed and clapped her hands. Even Black Tilly, who washes the floor, looked through the piazza window and called me Honey Child when she wasn't crying too much to call me anything. I don't see why they cried. I wanted to sing and shout and yell. Oh, 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 just think. I can walk, walk, walk. Now I don't mind being here almost ten months. And I didn't miss the wedding anyhow. Wasn't that just like you, Aunt Polly? to come on here and get married right beside my bed so I could see you. You always do the gladdest things. Pretty soon they say I shall go home. I wish I could walk all the way there, I do. I don't think I shall ever want to ride anywhere any more. It will be so good just to walk. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm glad for everything. Why, I'm glad now I lost my legs for a while. For you never, never know how perfectly lovely legs are till you haven't got them. Uh, that go, I mean. I'm going to walk eight steps tomorrow. With heaps of love to everybody. Pollyanna. End of chapter 32. End of Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. This recording by Phil Chenevere, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. July 2012.